Want to build muscles at home? Don't have a gym membership or fancy equipment? No problem. Welcome to the world of home workouts, a universe where convenience meets fitness. It's all about making the most of what you've got right there in your living room. Who says you need a gym to get ripped? With a little creativity and commitment, you'd be surprised at what you can achieve. So buckle up for a fitness journey that's as comfortable as it is effective. Stay with us as we break down the workouts into simple, easy to follow steps. Before we dive into the workouts, remember the golden rule, never skip your warm up. Warming up is a crucial step to any exercise routine. It preps your body for the workout ahead by increasing your heart rate and circulation, which in turn warms up your muscles. This is important because warm muscles are more flexible and less prone to injury. It also gets your mind ready, setting you up for a successful workout. Here's a simple warm-up routine to get you started. You can start with a set of jumping jacks. This classic move gets your whole body moving and your heart rate up. Follow this with high knees to engage your core and warm up your leg muscles. Finally, arm circles are a great way to warm up your upper body and improve shoulder mobility. Remember, the goal here is to get your body moving, not to exhaust yourself. Now that you're warmed up, let's move on to the workouts. Our first set of exercises focuses on your upper body. Let's kick off with one of the most fundamental moves, the push-up. This exercise is excellent for strengthening your chest, shoulders, and triceps. Begin in a high plank position. Lower your body until your chest almost touches the floor, keeping your elbows tucked close to your body. Push back up to the starting position. That's one rep. Aim for three sets of 10 to 15 reps, depending on your fitness level. Next on our list is the tricep dip. You'll need a sturdy chair or bench for this one. Sit on the edge of your chair, hands gripping the edge. Slide your butt off the chair, keeping your feet flat on the floor. Lower your body until your arms form a 90 degree angle, then press back up. This move targets your triceps beautifully. Again, aim for three sets of 10 to 15 reps. Last but not least, we have shoulder presses with improvised weights. You can use anything you have at home, cans of beans, water bottles, you name it. Stand with your feet shoulder width apart, weights at your shoulders. Press the weights overhead until your arms are fully extended, then lower them back to the start. This exercise works your shoulders and upper back. Aim for three sets of 10 to 15 reps here as well. Great job on those upper body exercises. Next, we'll target the lower body. Ready to feel the burn in your lower body? Here we go. Our first exercise is squats, a fantastic way to build strength in your thighs and glutes. Start by standing tall with your feet shoulder width apart. Bend your knees, pushing your hips back as if you're sitting in a chair. Keep your chest up and your knees over your toes. Push back up to the starting position. That's one rep. Moving on to lunges, which are excellent for targeting your quads and hamstrings. Stand tall, take a step forward with one foot and lower your body until your front knee is at a 90 degree angle. Your back knee should hover just above the ground. Push back up through your front heel and return to the starting position. Repeat with the other leg. Finally, we have calf raises. These work the smaller muscles in your lower legs. Stand with your feet hip width apart. Slowly raise your heels off the ground until you're standing on your tiptoes. Then lower yourself back down. To increase the challenge, do this exercise on a step to increase your range of motion. Remember, the key to these exercises is not speed, but rather form and technique. Take your time. Feel each movement, engage your muscles. You'll get stronger with each rep, each set, each workout. Well done. 
you've completed a full body workout at home. Bravo on completing the workouts. But wait, we're not done yet. Cooling down is just as important as warming up. It helps your body to gradually return to its normal state, reduces muscle stiffness, and aids recovery. Start by slowing your breathing, then gently stretch each muscle group we've worked on today. Hold each stretch for about 20 seconds, but remember, don't push to the point of pain. Congratulations on completing this home workout routine. Remember, consistency is key. Keep going and you'll see those muscles building in no time.